Okay, back to our example. Step three. If voters approve, Steve is issued new BSQ tokens worth 0.5 Bitcoin. How did that happen? Well, it goes back to the process of colored coins that we just talked about. Remember that tiny number of a tiny amount of Satoshis that Steve included with his compensation request? Well, if DAO voting approves, then those Satoshis are colored to become valid, new valid BSQ tokens worth half a Bitcoin. If Steve's request was denied, if it was not approved, then the coloring does not take place. And those Satoshis that he included with his request remain Satoshis and Steve remains poor. Now, one important note here is that, as I mentioned before, that these that this coloring is only recognized on BISC. So all BISC nodes agree that Bitcoin transaction outputs that look a certain way are BSQ tokens. And but off of BISC, those transaction outputs are just a few Satoshis. They're just uh, there's nothing special about them. So yeah, Steve has been paid and he has new BSQ tokens, but they're not worth anything off of BISC. But that's fine because as we'll see in step four, there are plenty of people right on BISC who will want to buy these tokens from Steve. Okay, step four, last step. Steve sells his BSQ tokens to traders for Bitcoin. Now this might be the most exciting step because the value transfer that we've been looking for will finally happen. But why would a trader want to buy BSQ tokens? Well, the answer has to do with trading fees. So when the BISC DAO goes live, traders will be able to pay trading fees with BSQ. If they want, they can continue paying trading fees with plain Bitcoin. But at least at first, BSQ fees are going to be a lot lower. And as we've seen, buying BSQ directly compensates contributors for their work on the BISC project, therefore helping to sustain the whole project. Now, one thing to note is that when BSQ is used to pay trading fees, it is destroyed. So we've seen how contributors are issued new BSQ for their work. Supply goes up in that case. New BSQ is issued, BSQ supply goes up. When BSQ is used to trade uh, for trading fees, that BSQ is burned. So it's uncolored and the supply of BSQ goes down. So there's a scarcity dynamic here. Supply goes up and down, and as a result, the price of the BSQ token goes up and down. Just something to keep in mind. So that's how the DAO works, and that's why DAO voting and traders are such crucial parts of the whole system. DAO voters approve issuance of tokens to contributors who've done work for the network, and traders, by buying BSQ to pay trading fees, pay contributors directly for their work. And all this happens without anyone having to rely on any central points of control to make the whole thing work. In the next video, we'll talk about the practical effects of the DAO launch for you if you're a trader.